That's like having an amazing meal, but then the dessert sucks. <laughs> Hey guys, this is another random review here. It's a movie I was just watching when I was on Netflix the other day. I was bored, I was tired, and I just put something on to kind of fall asleep to. In the end, I actually stayed awake for the whole thing. Hidden is another unique sort of movie take on the whole zombie ideal. To be honest, a lot of us will watch zombie movies just for the sake of them. There are some absolutely f***ing terrible ones out there. but. One thing I do like about lower budget zombie films is that they have to take a unique perspective to the whole idea to make it interesting as to deal with the lack of budget. Pontypool is a huge example of that. A lot of movies that you don't need a huge budget are a specifically gore filled budget to make a good zombie movie and that's what Hidden is. Hidden takes place in a bunker underneath a old school area with three people. Sexy Eric from True Blood, Tom Cruise's girl buddy from Oblivion, and this little girl. This family has been living in this bunker for quite a long time and the girl is starting to get a little bit stir crazy from it as she is growing up and she is kind of feeling that there's not much left to the world. All the while there is something called the breathers that are walking around the surface up on top this is the fallout of a disaster that happened, which you actually subsequently start to learn through flashbacks. The first thing I've got to say is that the first two acts of this movie are fantastic. The pacing is great, the shooting is great, it's a little bit dark whenever they go on top, but that's kind of more so filters and whatnot, but the lighting and the themes, both the sincere and the tension-filled aspects of this film are fantastic. The girl is a little bit over the top in a few stages, but then she really starts to get a good groove. And Alex Skrzgar, what else? Alexander Skrzgar, he is really good as the father. He is a guy who is basically trying to hold on to hope, whereas the mother is much more rule-based. He's a little bit willing to let a few things slide because he obviously understands that his daughter is growing up and he's kind of realizing that this is all that they have left. All the while, there are little hints at what happened and who the breathers are. And subsequently, something goes wrong and the safety of their bunker is threatened. And it's right at the 10 minute remaining marker that I think the movie gets a little bit stupid. Actually, it gets really stupid. There's a really cool kind of twist on the aspect of who's infected and who's not, and what the breathers are, and it was a little bit predictable, admittedly, once you first really got to see them. I kind of figured who they were, but what happens at the ending, at first it's like, okay, that's a cool idea, and then it just goes off into stupid land and the whole aspect of what the virus is is completely unquestionable and doesn't make any sense. It literally just throws logic and everything out the fucking window, which is so unfortunate because this movie is so good up until the last 10 minutes and then it just shits all over itself. Now, some people may like the idea of this kind of twist at the end and I did like it, to a point, but then it just gets a little bit ridiculous. So while the ending kind of throws the integrity of the film out the window, the entire product overall is exceptionally well made considering its budgetary constraints and the twist on the whole idea of an infected sort of story is good, except for the last 10 minutes. So in the end, I will give Hidden a 5 out of 7. It is an enjoyable movie. It's on Netflix. You should watch it. The characters are great. The story and the pacing is fantastic up until the last 10 minutes. And the whole means of how this film is shot from a horror perspective as well as a survival perspective is really good. I enjoyed this movie until the last 10 minutes. Also guys, two other announcements to make. I have a Instagram account now. Ooh, so I'm going to put those in, I don't know, my thing at the end or in the description. I don't know, I got one mainly because my own little startup business. Uh, apparently, whenever you make a video or a photography business, literally you have to have an Instagram account. So that's what I did. The second thing is I am going to put links to things that I see in the description below of certain objects, 
teacups shirts that I like and I kind of want to pass it along to you guys if you're interested. For instance, this teacup is back on sale. This is my really awesome uh, Iron Giant cup from, uh, from Tea Chip. Well, actually, I've gotten a few things from T-Chip over the last little while, so whenever I see something interesting, I will make sure to post about it in the description and give a little shout out about it, because I find a lot of cool things on T-Chip, so that or Redbubble. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys later.